receiving an alarm ticket for a child caught in a fence. Be prepared. You'll never know what type of fence it is. It could be a wrought iron fence or a chain link fence. If you notice this fence, it's chain link and it's tied into the post with little wire ties. It's very simple to remove. Insert the halogen point, put pressure on the fork and lift upward and you'll snap the link. That's it, thanks Jimmy. Tubular webbing is stored inside the rubber gloves. This way we can diamond lash a patient to the backboard or to the stokes. Always keep a backboard in the stokes basket so you're prepared to remove a victim or for a firefighter removal. Approaching a fence always size up each side. Look at the hinges, the lock assembly, and what it's made of. Decide where you're going to attack it. Many times attacking the hinges instead of the lock will be easier. If you notice on this fence, the pin is very easy to knock out of the hinge and it will go quicker than cutting the lock assembly or the fence. In this close-up of the hinge, you can notice the pin. Many times they might have a cheap cotter pin in the hole which can easily be broken out. Simply knock up the pin and you'll release the hinge opening the gate from that side. When you encounter a chain and a padlock, either attack the chain or the padlock. Make your decision. Remember, a bolt cutter or an iron saw or the halogen will always work. On the top of this fence, you'll notice that it is braided or twist. Many times children climbing over will get their pants caught in there or they may be impaled on these top parts.